I find myself in eastern Idaho on Henry's Fork, which turns into the North Fork of the mighty Snake River. I'm not too far from the border of Montana and Wyoming. This place is beautiful. I'm not the biggest fan of heights, and that's a long ways down. Yikes. Next stop, Upper Mesa Falls. I'm pretty excited to see this. As I walked down to the falls, the air got much cooler from all the mist, which was great because it was hot out. It's pretty neat watching that much water fall off that ledge. I end up driving down a lot of dirt roads since I've been traveling. I guess that's the price you pay for free rent. But sometimes you get what you pay for. Well, I decided to go down an old dirt road. It's super bumpy. And one of my cupboards popped loose. This little sucker right here. The latch popped loose. I lost a bunch of my stuff and I had a massive butter spill. Yep, that's all butter. That little guy right there. So after the great butter spill, I find myself on the ledge of this mountain overlooking Warm River. And there's my old van, home. It's been working out pretty good so far. Hopefully in the morning I'll walk down to fish this river. It looks fantastic from here. Take a look. Quite the hike, but hopefully it'll be worth it. Well, I'm walking down this trail to get down to the water. It's quite a little hike. There's a nice little game trail here though. in. Hey, I can see my van. It's that white thing there, I do believe. Yeah. This old river was beautiful, crystal clear. I ended up walking down about a mile and I just couldn't figure out what the fish wanted to eat. One day I'm gonna get this figured out. I did end up catching a couple of fish. They were only six to eight inches though. It's better than nothing I suppose.
I ended up moving downstream a few miles to a nice wooded area. It was beautiful there. Just a short walk from the van, I was down to the creek. It was so lush and green. I couldn't wait to get in the creek and start fishing. Oh, and on the way there, I seen a moose. I'd never seen a moose before. His antlers were all covered in velvet. It was pretty neat. I had a bunch of chores to do back at camp. But I figured 20 minutes of fishing wouldn't hurt anybody, right? And even though the fish are small, when they take your fly off the top of the water, it's fun every time. I ended up catching three or four before I headed back to camp. Priority number one, get dinner started. That there Instant Pot is full of chicken thighs and seasoning. That pressure cooker doesn't take too much energy. My whole van's running off of 300 amp hours of lithium battery and 400 watts of solar. That's quite a bit of power, but a little more would never hurt. Now it's time to do a little laundry, since I got such easy access to fresh water, might as well use it. I don't like much doing laundry, especially when you have to do it by hand. Ugh. Someone left a laundry line on this campsite, so I made good use of it. Not bad for an old redneck in the woods, eh? Finally, just a day of fishing. No climbing up and down mountains. No driving miles to get to the water front. Just walk on down a little hill, and there it is, the creek, all to myself. My casting's not so good as you can see, but luckily I didn't get caught up on the grass on the right side. But eventually, I finally got him.
I had intentions to fish the river of Henry's Fork. Come to find out, most of the fishing is done by boat. And everywhere I went to look for water access, it was full of people. Well, that's summertime for you. To be honest, I was kind of disappointed. But there's other rivers to fish, I suppose. I just gotta find them.